Hello and welcome to Stop Ross Maths Key Skill video on calculating a further bound and specifying the value to a suitable degree of accuracy. So we've got some formula, p equals root q over r, and we've given the value of q and r, and we don't know what the original value of q is, but we know when q is rounded to two significant figures, we get 0.089. By considering bounds, work out the value of P, giving your answer to a suitable degree of accuracy. Now, those are the magic words there, suitable degree of accuracy. What does that mean? Well, it does say by considering bounds. So we should probably work out first the lower bound of B and the upper bound of B. And we saw how to do that in a previous video. If we write out the formula again, if we want the lower bound of P, so let's put LB for lower bound, then we would start with the smallest possible value, so we'd use a lower bound of Q, and we would divide by a bigger possible value to get P as small as possible. So we're going to divide by the upper bound of R. And again, let's copy out the formula, but we want the upper bound this time, so root Q over R. So the upper bound of P, so we would start with a big number, so the upper bound of Q, and we want to divide by smaller numbers possible to keep it big. So we're going to divide by the lower bound of R. So let's work each of these out. I'm going to do this quickly. I'm going to assume that you're already comfortable with finding the lower bound and upper bound of each of these numbers. If you're not, then please view those videos first. So the lower bound of P is the square root of the lower bound of Q, which is 0 0.0885, all over the upper bound of R, which is 0 0.85. 25, and then the upper bound of P is equal to the square root of the upper bound of Q, which is 0 0.0895, all over the lower bound of R, which is 0 0.8515. So let me just put each of those in my calculator. So that's 0 0.34896. So just put a bunch of decimal places, and then the upper bound is 0 0.351339, etc. Now what's meant by giving a single value of P to a suitable degree of accuracy? Well, you might think that we just do halfway between the two, but that's not actually a good strategy. We know that P could be anywhere between this value, this lower bound, and this value, this upper bound. So P could be anywhere between these two values. So wouldn't it be a good idea to give a single value of P where regardless of where we are in this particular range, we know that to some degree of accuracy, it's going to round to our value, regardless of what value it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to round to more and more accuracy until the two values stop being the same. So let's look at one decimal place, each of these. If we round this lower bound to one decimal place, we get 0.3. And we've round this value to one decimal place, we get 0.4. Well, these are not the same value, so we shouldn't round to one decimal place because we don't know whether it's going to be 0.3 or 0.4. What about two decimal places? Well, this value is going to be 0.35. And if we round this value to two decimal places, we get 0.35. Ah, well these are the same value. So it seems that a really suitable value of P to give is 0.35 because we know that wherever P is in between this value and this value, between the lower bound and the upper bound, we can guarantee that to two decimal places that we get 0.35. So we would say that P is 0.35 and if they asked you for a reason, you'd just say as the lower bound and upper bound are this value to two decimal places. So basically, both of these bounds agree to that amount of accuracy. So basically, you just keep on going to more and more accuracy until the values stop agreeing. Now, it's quite an unusual question, this, because actually they initially don't agree, and we had to go to more accuracy until they did agree. But usually what happens is that they keep on agreeing until we get to too much accuracy. Like, if we gave this to three decimal places, that would be 0. 349 and that would be 0.351 which are clearly different so we shouldn't go as far as three decimal places but it's just quite unusual that we had to go to two decimal places before they did agree